Okay guys, now I've been telling you all the stories of how I just like to randomly talk to people. I've, oh, I've always liked doing that. And now that I share the stories with you, I find myself doing it even more often. I've always told you stories where things go pretty well and people have a sense of humor and stuff. And that's the vast majority of the time. But sometimes people don't think I'm funny. I don't understand it. And that happened here in this little, little gym. <laughs> this little gym in the hotel. Now, typically, these little workout rooms in the hotel, nobody ever goes in there. So whenever we go away and I go to work out, you usually have it all to yourself. But the other night I went in, well, what was it, two nights ago, I go into the gym and there's a guy already in there working out. And now he kind of pissed me off immediately because he was young, good looking and in insanely good shape. And I hate that because I'm, you know, I'm this. So we we're doing our little workouts and he was up on the uh, elliptical machine and I'm over there on the benches and he takes a break and I look over at him and I just got done with a set and, and I started out being friendly, you know, goofy me. I, and I said, whoa, who would have thought that after eating two quarter pounders, doing um, dumbbell presses on the bench would make you poop yourself. And I'm expecting somebody to just laugh and go, okay, that's a, you know, a strange old man. But he like got really, disgusted and unnerved and he's and he said he had an accent I couldn't pick it out but he had a he pretty heavy accent and he says he and, and he goes did you did you really have an accident and I said well the quarter pounders weren't an accident but the other stuff yeah that was that wasn't on purpose and he got really grossed out and you could tell he was getting like aggressively annoyed so now now for me it was like okay this is no longer just a fun little troll now i'm gonna be a dick because I, I don't i don't like him because he's young and i mentioned good looking good shape and and so he goes that's 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 disgusting i said what dude i said you you're gonna stand there and tell me that you never crapped yourself in the gym <laughs> and he's getting really upset and he goes no no i i never have an accident in the gym and I said, oh yeah, okay, right. I said, now next thing you're gonna tell me that you've never walked through the syrup aisle of the grocery store, seen Mrs. Butterworth and started reaching into your own pants. Come on. I, I said, come on, let, let, let's come clean with each other. And he got, he got really mad and he just left. He just took his towel and he went in a huff and he was muttering something in another language under his breath. And I thought, <laughs> it was a really good time. I was, I was really, I gotta admit, I was really pleased with myself. I did expect to get thrown out of the little workout gym or out of the hotel altogether, but neither happened. I'm thinking maybe I hit a nerve and maybe he really has done the whole Mrs. Butterworth thing and that was just too close to home.